Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be sharing five reasons why I chose radiology and also sharing some tips that I think are helpful when making a choice of what medical specialty to go into. So for me, when it came to choosing a specialty, I really just jumped up and down. I was a specialty ho. I decided I was going to do breast one day and then urology the next day and then general surgery in the day, ophthalmology, anesthetics. I went for courses and courses and tasters and like spent time in different departments. I was a uh, other mess I jumped up and down and it wasn't until my second year so f2 that I decided that I was actually going to do radiology obviously a lot of thoughts and research went into me making that decision but there were five major reasons that I decided that radiology was what I was going to pursue the first was the work environment I already knew that medicine was not for me I just didn't like the pace of medicine and also just wasn't my being on the wards was in my bag. In particular, I hated the fact that ward rounds went on forever. You were always attached to a bleep. Um, it just felt that this was, I just knew this wasn't how I wanted to spend most of my working life. The pace in radiology is so much slower. You generally can at least go for regular bathroom breaks at the least, and you can have a cup of tea whilst you're reporting, you know, if you need to, or get a coffee. It's just like, le it's all less intense than the wards i particularly do not miss a bleep like honestly a bleep gives me ptsd if i hear a bleep going off in the corner i'm already thinking oh my god like it just makes me panic i hate bleeps in general so the work environment is definitely better and slower and a little bit more controlled in radiology the second reason was the scope of practice personally i'm someone who likes to be quite general in terms of knowledge base and I prefer to know a little bit about a lot of things than being super, super, super specialized in one teeny tiny thing. And radiology offered me the opportunity to do that. Even though it doesn't seem as exciting as medicine, most radiologists are actually generalists because you need to know quite a, a broad, you need to have a broad clinical knowledge base in order to understand the different pathologies that can happen in different organs. And so that was really appealing to me because it meant that I could still be quite broad in my clinical knowledge, um, but not have to apply that in on a ward setting or in, you know, in theatres and things like that. The third thing was the practical skills. Now, I was someone who was going to be a surgeon for the longest time, and that was because I thought that I had good hand-eye coordination, I had good skills, and I actually just generally liked doing things with my hands. And so, which was what was driving me towards surgery. When I decided I wasn't going to do surgery anymore, I was quite pleased to know that radiology offered some practical skills, which is kind of what I'm doing now. I, you know, that's where my career has kind of gone, is to doing some diagnostic work and a little bit of interventional work to keep those practical skills. So, you know, things like ultrasound, I was I, that's probably one of my favorite modalities. Um, and also doing things like biopsies. And if you want to even go full on, you know, practical hands-on, there is the interventional radiology training. So there's opportunities to either choose how much or how little practical things you want to do. And and also to choose how intense you want your you know, inter interventional life to be. The fourth thing was the nature of the work. Radiology is a very problem solving specialty. As you can probably imagine, we were the ones who are usually the end of the line. Well, before the end of the line, pathologists are really the end of the line. But you know, in terms of diagnostics, so whatever anyone else says clinically, usually and increasingly they rely on radiologists to give them the answer. And it's a, I really really like that because it's in, sometimes you're the smartest person in the room at the time because you're the one who can see into the person you literally have the x-ray vision into the person's body and you can figure out what is going wrong and what can be causing symptoms and I, I find that very rewarding it's almost like being a detective you get to go into a crime scene and you get to put two and two together and come up with your theory of how things have happened it's really exciting and that really really makes me want to get out of bed in the morning Finally, this point might not be for everyone and some people might say, well, why'd you get into medicine then if you didn't want to really talk to people? Um, but honestly, part of the reason I chose radiology was the fact that I had less patient interaction. I think everyone is different in terms of how they re relate to other people, how they relate to patients and how much patient interaction you want. And honestly, for me, I thought that I needed a bit less patient interaction than I had when I was on the wards. Um, I do get a bit of patient interaction, especially when I do my more practical skills. So if, I, if you're doing ultrasound, I'm doing flora, for example, I will get to talk to my patients more. But I find that that's just enough for me to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. And I don't need the 
you know like for example most people who do gp from the personality point of view are people who usually like to interact quite a lot with people you want to be able to form long lasting relationships with your patient you know these people for years and years and years and you get to know them as you know individuals you get to know them properly and that's a different personality than a radiologist i didn't mention work-life balance as one of my reasons for choosing radiology because to be honest at the time it really was in the forefront of my mind um i'm someone who thinks that if you're doing something that you enjoy then it's less likely to become tedious um i think if i'd carried on doing surgery i certainly would not have completed training full-time i think i would have taken breaks um or even gone less than full time thankfully now the option of going less than full time is available for most specialties and you don't have to give a particular reason to do so so i think most people can achieve a good work-life balance on in any specialty now by going less than full time um so I mean, it's important to think of work-life balance but for me personally I wasn't thinking of that really when I chose radiology it does have a good work-life balance um but I think I probably would have got that I would have tried my hardest to have a good work-life balance depending on the specialty I chose I would just have got less than full time I think this brings me to my tips on how to choose a specialty and the first one is knowing your personality type and knowing what you actually want to get out of medicine I think it's very important to align your personality and your normal preferences outside of medicine to your specialty choice because in the end this is what you're going to be doing for the next 30 40 years of your working career and you just need to be you need to feel as comfortable in whatever it is you're doing for as long as possible the second thing i'd say is take your time I didn't have the luxury of time when I was um, applying because at the time I was on a visa and I couldn't really afford to take an F3 or F4 year to figure things out. If you're in a position to do that, I would say take the time to do so, but use the time wisely and use it to explore multiple options. Like I said before, I jumped up and down when it came to specialties. I was everywhere, but I was doing that just so I could figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And with everything I did, I either excluded that specialty or still kept it in the running. So after spending time in ophthalmology clinics and at the micro, um, ophthalmology slit lamp course, I just knew, I said, this is not for me. I'm not doing this specialty, park that to one side. You know, so it, it was just helping me. It was a process of, of elimination as to what I was going to do. When I went to my first breast surgery, I just found it so boring. In fact, I almost face planted into the boob I was supposed to be holding up. That's a whole story for another day. But when I came out of that surgery, I just knew that that wasn't going to be for me either. So use the time to rule in or rule out a specialty that you want to do. My third tip is to do a taster. When you've eventually figured out maybe one or two that you think are strong contenders, I will highly advise that you do a taster in one or both of these specialties um, because I think it gives you a good insight into what the life as a trainee and as a consultant consultant is in the specialty and helps you really to form your ideas and to decide whether or not this is something that you would want to do. Number four is to do your research. So I did a lot of research. Um, there's not that much information out there on some specialties, for example, radiology, which is why I part of the reasons why I started this channel because not a lot of radiologists talk about it publicly and you have to go and find them in the department where they live. Um, but do a lot of research, talk to a lot of trainees and talk to a lot of consultants and just to a lot of people about different the aspects of the of the of the career and of the jobs don't be afraid to ask lots and lots and lots of questions as part of doing your research you need to make peace with the cons of whatever specialty that you decide to go into we all know that there is no perfect specialty at this point each one comes with its pros and cons and in order for you to accept like you know a specialty you also have to accept the cons that come with them and make your peace with them and just accept that this is what it's going to be or if it's not going to if you can't make a peace with piece with the cons of a particular specialty then maybe that specialty is not for you and if all that fails and you're still struggling to figure out what you want to do then do what I did and just take a test so I took a I think it was supposed to be a personality test but then based on your personality it gave you the top um, choices for specialty for you and the top 10 are supposed to represent what you'd be best suited in to and this is actually where I got the idea to even consider radiology I hadn't even thought about it before as an option and so after doing the test um, I, I think my radiology came in at, at number six or seven for me and by this point I already eliminated most of the specialties in my top 10 and I saw radiology and I thought oh that's nice and I haven't considered this specialty why not and then I started to do my research and did a taste and then decided that actually 
this is something that I wanted to do and here we are today. So I hope those tips were helpful um, and if you've got any questions about radiology in particular then leave them in the comments below and if this video gave you some kind of idea and tips on how to go forward then kindly leave me a like. Also consider subscribing to my channel for similar videos in the future. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.